Greetings and praise the Lord. <laughs> My name is Kay and I'm back again to upload a few more videos. And I would like to take the time out to thank each and every one of you for tuning in for another blessed word of God right here at Archangel Healing Temple Church. This next video that I'm uploading is just another message that we want to share with you. And we pray that it ministers to your soul, that you allow God to take control and let it speak to that situation that you have been dealing with. God knows all, and I believe he sent you here today to send that healing, that restoration that you've been praying about. And I pray that you allow God to send direction, healing, and confirmation. <laughs> Let's take a look. Matthew 27, verse 1 through 2 reads, When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Drop down to 19. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his wife sent unto him, saying, have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. Verses 23 through 25. And the governor said, Why? What evil hath he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could not pre could prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answer all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Oh, Lord God, we thank you. We thank you for tonight. We thank you for being in your presence on tonight, Lord. There's a lot of places we could have been. There's a lot of places we should have been. Some of us should have been dead, sleeping in our grave, but we're in the house of the Lord tonight. Oh, God, we don't, we don't take it for granted. We thank you for being here on tonight. We thank you for being in the house. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask that you put Katoya on a back burner. You speak through me, Lord. You use me. You talk to your people. You sit on every pew on tonight. Touch somebody's soul. Prick somebody's heart, Lord. Let them come crying to you at the altar says, save me, Jesus. Save me, Jesus. You're the one that can save. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Verse 24 and 25 says, When Pilate saw that he could pre prevail nothing, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. See ye to it. Then answer all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Now this whole story of how Jesus, uh, our Savior, uh, the one who came to set us free, the one and only Son of God, and, you know, think about this story of how he was beginning to be crucified and how, how they took him to Pilate and uh, how they hated him so much that they just wanted him dead and uh, he did nothing wrong uh, but they hated him. These weren't just people that just envied him, somebody walking along the way. Uh, these were the very people that he was created for. He was created to come and save these people. He was sent for this purpose to free these chosen people from their sin. But they hated him. They took him to Pilate, and Pilate knew that Jesus was an innocent man. And so he says, I wash my hands of this. And I, I don't want the blood of this innocent man to be on my hands. He says, see ye to it. Do it yourselves, in other words. I don't want anything to do with this. I will not be blamed for crucifying not just a king, but the king. Hallelujah. I will not be able to 
to live my life knowing that I took part in a murder. Hallelujah. Knowing that I took part in the death of the son of the living God. Hallelujah. He says, I will not take part in this. He says, do it yourself. I'm done with it. Hallelujah. He says, you do it. His blood will not be on my hands, but his blood shall be on your hands. I would like to use for a topic tonight just to put something on your minds and on your hearts. His blood is on your hands. His blood is on your hands. Now reading this now, I believe that Pilate felt so strongly to do this because he knew how serious this was. And he knew that if he took part in killing the almighty son of God, that he knew that his soul could not prosper. His soul could not rest. And his soul would be troubled. I believe Pilate had to take a minute and think, oh God, what about my soul? Soul. Hallelujah. Do I really want to do this thing? Do I really want to do this? I believe that he really wanted to convince the people to stop and think about what they were getting ready to do. Uh, to count up the cost and say that if you crucify this innocent man, uh, where does that leave your soul? Hallelujah. The theme of this revival is what about your soul? Hallelujah. So about what you're getting ready to do. Uh, where does that leave your soul? Hallelujah. Do you believe that you will please God by killing his son? Uh, think about it. Uh, the God, the creator of this world, the creator of this universe. Uh, have you thought about how this will affect you, uh, how this will affect your life, and uh, not just your life, but your children's lives. Uh, I believe Pilate wanted to ask, what about your soul, people? Uh, how could you do this great sin and expect to be okay? They didn't realize what they were saying uh, when they said his blood shall be on us and on our children. Ooh, what kind of statement would that be? How, what kind of is that to make that I want to sin, I want to sin and say, give me the punishment of my sin. I'm big, I'm bad, I'm bold enough to take it. Give me the punishment of my sins, but don't just give it to me, but give it to my children as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh, don't stop at cursing my life. Don't stop at cursing me. Don't stop at denying me. Don't stop with just giving me trouble. He was a king. 
but they beat him but the more. They said, here is the king. Then they slapped him. Then they whipped him. Oh, Jesus. Then they spat on him. But it is time for us to wake up tonight and see that it's not just they anymore. Oh, Jesus. And Acts 13 and 46, when Paul and Barnabas said to the Jews, we spoke to y'all first, but since y'all rejected it, y'all turned from it. Y'all said y'all didn't want to hear about him. Y'all said y'all didn't want eternal life. So we have turned to the Gentiles. So ever since the word of God was preached to us, we are considered they now. Oh, Jesus. We are the Gentiles to. Huh? The Jews rejected Jesus. Huh? So now this, in the, this is the Gentile chance. Huh? This is our chance to take Jesus as our king. Huh? Take him as our savior. Huh? It's on us now. Huh? So when we reject Jesus, huh? his blood is on your hands. Huh? When we continue in sin, huh? his blood is on your hands. Huh? When we have an encounter with Jesus, and we say, no, I don't want him. I don't want to hear his name preached. I don't even want to sit in the church house. I don't want to see what's going on at that revival. Oh, Jesus, his blood is on your hands. When we say, I know that I've heard about the Lord. I know that you are Lord. I heard my grandmama say, long ago. I know what the word says, but I can't stop doing what I'm doing. His blood is on your hands. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. When God has saved you time and time again, when he spared your life, you know you should have been dead. You should have been gone. His blood when you say I can't give up the wrong, his blood is on your hands. When you when you know the Savior, when you knew to know that He has done nothing wrong in your life, and yet you won't praise Him, yet you won't give Him the praise. Oh Jesus, yet you won't say thank you, Lord. Yet you won't say I'm grateful, Jesus. Yet you turn over. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Huh? You're laying with that woman and you know she ain't your wife. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Huh? I'm here to tell you huh? that his blood is on your hands. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Huh? How in the world huh? can we walk around huh? knowing that we are crucifying our Savior daily? Huh? Everything, every time we reject him, huh? every time reject his name. We are ripping his flesh apart. We say, I don't believe you, Jesus. I don't believe you are the son of God. So I'm tearing your flesh apart. I'm ripping it from his very bone. Oh, Jesus. I'm nailing your innocent hands. I'm nailing your innocent feet. I'm standing by day by day. And watch from your body, I'm crucifying you to say that I take, I'll take my punishment when I crucify you daily. I say I'm big enough to take it. I'll take my punishment. I'll take it, and my children will take it too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Some of us are wondering why we can't come out of the mess that we're in. We're wondering why. Johnny is acting like he's the devil himself. We're wondering why we keep having problems with our children. Oh, Jesus. Because his blood is on your hands. But well, what do you mean, woman? I pay my tithes. I go to church time and time again. I even sing in a choir. 
I'm even on a deacon board, but his blood is on your hands. Romans 8 and 9 says, if you have not the spirit of Christ, you are none of his. Oh, Jesus. Do you mean that my actions won't save me? You are none of his. But my pastor says, he thinks I should be a minister. Oh, Jesus. If you have not his spirit, you are none of his. If you have rejected the Lord and refused the truth, you are none of his. And his blood is on your hands. Oh, well, some of us may say, oh, I have his spirit. I'm his now. I will reign with him. Oh, I'm saved. I know I'm saved. But yet we continue to envy our neighbor. Neither fornicators, 
sister, ha, no idolaters, ha, no adulterers, effeminate, no abusers of themselves with mankind, ha, nor thieves, ha, nor covetous, ha, nor drunkards, ha, nor revelers, ha, nor extortioners, ha, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And I sent 
He healed your body when they said it was over. Ha. But what did you do to my son? Ha. Oh, Jesus. Ha. He stopped that bullet that night. Ha. You know you should have been dead. Ha. Woman, he stopped that man from killing you in your own home. Ha. He called you, called for me. Ha. And I sent my son. Ha. But where is it now? Where is it? I see his blood on your hands. I heard him cry out to me because you beat him time and time again. I heard him cry, Oh, my father. Oh, Jesus. After you nailed his hands, what did you do? I sent you what you asked for. I sent you peace. I sent Life. He was life. But what did you do? Why is his blood on your hand? Oh, my God. Somebody just say, My God. My God. Oh, my God. If you know you've sinned against him, say, I have sinned. And I own up to it tonight. I've heard many things. 
not murdered. Oh, Jesus. He said you had to be baptized in his name. Oh, Jesus. It's only one name. Only one name that you can be saved. And that's in the name of Jesus. Just like he was buried. Just like he was buried. You are being buried like him. You have to go down in that watery grave. Who chooses? Go down in the name that shed his blood. Peter said, be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sins. If you want to be cleansed, go down in the name of Jesus. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. and you're tired of it and you want out and you say today is the day let us pray with you let us pray and ask God to remove and heal and work in that situation the scripture says that if two or three are gathered together in his name that he shall be in the midst of them let God change your situation today give us a call at 601-906 7120. If you feel like you don't want to call and you just want to mail in your request, mail it in to P.O. Box 642, Natchez, Mississippi 39121. And if you also feel that God has blessed you and he is leading you to be a blessing for the ministry and you want to sow a seed today, you may also send your blessing into P.O. Box 642 Natchez, Mississippi, 39121. 
And we thank you in advance for allowing God to use you in a mighty way. Until next time, be blessed and know we're praying for you.